When we are working with algebraic fractions, sometimes we are asked to simplify a single algebraic fraction like this one. The first step to simplifying this fraction is to factor both the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is a complex trinomial, so I'm going to show its factoring over here. a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 9, c is equal to positive 9, and the product ac is equal to 2 times 9, which is 18. Using the complex trinomial method, I rewrite the trinomial 2b squared plus, in a bracket, I put the answer to my question, what two numbers multiply to give 18, but add to give b negative 9? Those two numbers are negative 6 and negative 3. So in my bracket, I write minus 6 minus 3. Then I write my b plus 9 to finish writing the original trinomial. This now can be broken down into 2b squared minus 6b minus 3b plus 9. The common factor of the first two terms is 2b. And that factored out gives me b minus 3. The common factor of the final two terms is minus 3. And that factored out gives me b minus 3. The final factoring of the complex trinomial is 2b minus 3 times b minus 3. Using the simple trinomial method, I will factor the denominator. What two numbers multiply to give negative 6 and add to give negative 1? Those two numbers are negative 3 and positive 2. So I end up with b minus 3 and b plus 2. Both of these factoring methods, of course, are taught in other videos that I've made called complex trinomial and simple trinomial. Now I can do my cancelling. There is a b minus 3 binomial on the top and on the bottom. So I cancel those. Here's another example of an algebraic fraction that needs to be simplified. The first step is to factor. The numerator is a simple trinomial, so I ask myself the question, what two numbers multiply to give 4, but add to give negative 5? And those numbers are negative 4 and negative 1. So the factors of this trinomial are a minus 4, a minus 1. On the bottom, I use difference of squares. 16 minus a squared factors to 4 minus a, 4 plus a. If you don't remember either of these two factoring methods, they are the subject of my other videos, simple trinomial and difference of squares. We can't cancel anything here yet. We have to do the minus 1 trick. If I do the minus 1 trick to a minus 4, I get minus 1, 4 minus a. The a minus 1 remains the same, and the denominator remains the same. Again, if you don't know the minus 1 trick, I have another video called the minus 1 trick, which illustrates how to do this in detail. Now that we have done this trick, we have 4 minus a on both the top and the bottom. We can cancel the 4 minus a. Our final answer is negative 1 times a minus 1 over 4 plus a. If you want, you can multiply the negative 1 into the binomial, but this is a valid final answer to this problem. Let's look at one more example of simplifying an algebraic fraction. In this case, I have a complex trinomial with a negative 1 as the leading numerical coefficient. But the way I like to deal with this is to factor a negative 1 out of this. So I get negative 1 times c squared plus c minus 6. That's the common factor method. The bottom is a difference of squares. So using the difference of squares method, I get 3 minus c, 3 plus c. 
Now I'm going to do the simple trinomial method to what remains in the bracket here, the trinomial. What two numbers multiply to give negative 6 and add to give 1? They are positive 3 and negative 2. So I have minus 1, c plus 3, c minus 2 on the top. And I have 3 minus c, 3 plus c on the bottom. The c plus 3 and the 3 plus c are the same and can therefore be cancelled. So I cancel one from the top, one from the bottom. I am left with negative 1, c minus 2 on the top, and 3 minus c on the bottom. If I want, I can multiply the negative 1 into the binomial, but this is a valid final answer for this question. If you don't remember how to do the simple trinomial factoring method, the difference of squares factoring method, the common factor factoring method, or the minus one trick, those are all subjects of other videos here on this website.